today I'm going for on-site interview problem this is design a data model so I'm going here example for taxi data model so let's un understand so in this chapter we are going to learn how to design a data models and uh, list of the tables uh, how to design and what kind of data and data type so after listening this video you you will able to answer how to design the data model so let's uh, uh, go some few concepts okay so previously call them taxi and convenient ride have been around the centuries nowadays a lot of more complicated run taxi service in this article we will look at database model design to meet needs of so the before the history of calling cab began on 17th century in london most place cab are more affordable than ever they are also beginning a lot of accessible we can order taxi by phone via mobile application on web browsers so we can use the same techniques that have been working hundred of years line up the cabs is decent the taxi business model is is not a strategy in any means newer concept like uber and lyft gaining popularity and certainly have impact in the future taxi service of course this is a complication lies those who are cab companies let's take a look at the pertinent parts of data model that uh, cab company could use to stay organized so we are what we what do we want to achieve this cab database model so the model present in this article will be create a driver schedule track the driver availability in real time provide driver with a list of potential ride allow driver to select ride from list calculate driver working hours and earning store various statistics is the percentage of rides that cancel payment per driver per month etc so what do we need to know about taxi company so before designing uh, the taxi data model we should know the business about the taxi so when the driver will work we should know the most of them driver prefer to schedule we know the exact time when the driver start and when they will end their schedule in the some cases safety start at start time and end time not defined in advance for example member of cab association can log and start working whenever they want they can also log out and uh, they're saved when they choose so our model should be able to support work uh, option okay so when the driver will work the shifting we need to schedule can driver work multiple shift on the same day if driver is a member of cab association they may able to work in the morning go home and then work again the same evening however the some of area like new york there is legal restriction on the shift length and how many hours cab driver can watch is there who initiate the rides most of case customer will contact a taxi call center or uh, they use app system uh, to the book the cab see so there is no call center employee involved in this process and third party option which is bypass this call center occur the one okay so data model so let's go to the driver data model so we are going to design the first is a driver table which contain id first name last name but date driving license number expiry date and all so this is driver so we need to handle the shift so this driver what shift is working so we take the primary a key of driver id and shift id is a primary key here but driver id is the foreign key and then cab so what kind of cab he use also we need to design a cab so cab will have cab involves and license plate number car model manufacturing year owner id and act. is it this cab is active or not then car model you have id model name and model description so basically driver a cab driver and shift we design here so every so let's go to a little bit theory about every start with the cab driver we need to car or taxi company we need to driver in future we probably need to adjust model to self driving car but let's stay in the present flow okay we will begin to explore the data model of driver table 
this table we will include useful attribute like name, surname, date of birth. We will also have some attributes that are quite specific. Okay, so driver license number. This is um, alphabet alphanumeric code usually found in government license ID. Expiry date also we need driver driving license number and expiry date is very important. Working hour boolean. We simply switch on and off driver logs into the system we will set the attribute by default yes and the chance to know when the driver is is not allowed to log in the system anymore there is many other driver related details could be stored in database username and password in the date of each driver start working each of driver current employment type we won't go into this detail now because they are not specific related to this model in a class they, under the administration this is the same host so the cab and car model so basically model description license plate number owner id active or not okay these are details we need so let's go to the about rider so in the rider table we are going to talk about uh, cab ride uh, customer when he is order or when a order text so cab rides it has uh, two tables one is a cab ride status one is cab ride so let's go to detail in this section so in that section cab ride table will store the record of every potential ride will update in this record according to what happened let's have a quick overview of attributes so shift ID this is reference of shift table provide us to driver and cab details Ride start time, ride end time. This is updated when the driver signal that they are currently busy. Ride start subsequently available again the ride end. Address starting point and address destination point. There is a location where the rider start and end. Driver will probably search both location and get navigate on this table GPS. So then likely when they update these two attributes. GPS starting point and ending point. These are the GPS coordinates starting and ending location described above. Cancel is it cancel? This is simple yes or no or one or zero tell us if ride has been cancelled We'll already have a record for this ride our table so we can just mark the ride as cancel Payment type Price this provide information about the amount of paid for ride payment method used by customer Most of attribute in cab ride table can contain null value. There is two reason Right to get cancel which means no data will be entered in this field even if we will have the data eventually we won't have when the record initially inserted we will update each record several times at the very least we will update it when the ride start and end or cancel the second table is section is cab ride status table here record is added every changes related to single ride when the disappear enter new ride in the system they will add a record cab rides okay cab ride id cab ride status so there is a few uncategorized table like cc assigned and status and payment type how would you improve this taxi model so this is what i described here basically uh, driver side and drive uh, customer sites we but we didn't store much customer information because we focus here in the driver side like driver shifting features and all those things so i will provide the link for this uh, data model please practice uh, answer all these questions before starting thank you please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching